Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to find the daily cost of running a light bulb, and then we're going to find savings that we would earn over a year if we switch to an LED bulb. So the utility company in your area charges 13 cents per kilowatt hour of electricity usage, and we're going to answer the following two questions. The first is what is the cost per day of keeping a 100 watt light bulb lit for 11 hours? And that's every day we would keep it on for 11 hours. And then we're going to look at the question, how much would we save per year if we replace that 100 watt bulb with a 10 watt LED light bulb? Okay, so when we're doing conversions, it's always a good idea to just kind of figure out what we're looking for. So our answer, we wanna have it in cost per day. So when we do that, we need to look at the information that we already have. So we know that we are charged 13 cents per kilowatt hours. So right now that is the units that we are in. We also know that we have a 100 watt bulb and that it runs for 11 hours per day. Okay. So our goal is to get to where we just have the dollars and just have the days. So we need to cancel out the kilowatt hours and not have that on the bottom. And we need to get rid of the watts and the hours on the top. Okay, so when I start setting this up, I would start with the cost first. So the 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Then we're going to figure out how much energy the light bulb is using. So that's 100 watts. And I need to get it to be kilowatts to cancel out. So what I need to do is I need to convert watts to kilowatts. And we know that there are 1,000 watts in one kilowatt. So every time you see kilo, remember that that is a thousand of that value. Okay, and then the last thing that we need to do is we're going to run it 11 hours per day. And a kilowatt hour just means kilowatts times hours. So since on the top we have kilowatt and hours, the kilowatt hours would cancel out between those two values. We can also see that the watts cancel out and we're left with dollars per day in our final answer. So those are the units that we were looking for. So we know we've done enough conversions to get to our final answer. To plug this into your calculator, remember that everything on the top is just multiplication. So I would do 0.13 times 100 times 11 and everything on the bottom is just division. In this case, we only have one thing. If we had more than one thing, we would put it in parentheses. But since we only have one thing, I would divide it by 1000. So this is what you would plug into your calculator. You can always simplify before dividing. So I could have simplified the zeros here and just divided by 10 at the end. Um, but I find a lot of my students find it easier just to plug it in as it is. So remember, everything on the top of the fraction is just multiplication. Everything on the bottom of the fraction is just division. So after you do that, when you plug it into your calculator, we get 0.143. And I know that we don't really charge in partial cents, but when they are calculating, they do use the partial cents and then they round at the end. So for this one, this would be per day. Okay. So if we write this out, we could say that the cost per day for the 100 watt bulb is approximately 14 cents. Okay. Um, just make sure that if you are doing this in an online homework platform that you round to whatever decimal place they tell you to. If they say to leave it as three decimal places, then you would just put it in as 0.143. So we're going to use this information in the next problem too, because we want to know how much we could save per year if we replace the 100 watt bulb with a 10 watt LED bulb. So the first thing that we need to know is how much does it cost to run the 10 watt bulb? 
So we can just do the same procedure that we just did. We have our dollar amount, so we know that it is 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Okay, and we now, now know that it's a 10 watt bulb. And we know that there are a thousand watts in one kilowatt. And that we're running this for 11 hours per day. So you can do it this way to get your answer. And basically the only thing that's gonna change when I plug it in is I'm gonna use 10 instead. So we can see that our kilowatts cancel out, our hours cancel out, and our watts cancel out. So we're left with the price per day. So if I do my calculations, it's 0 0.0143. We could have also recognized that a 10 watt bulb is one tenth of the cost or it uses one tenth of the energy of a hundred watt bulb so it's going to be one tenth of the cost so i could have also just taken this 0 0.143 and divided it by 10 that would have also given me the same answer okay be careful to solve for what they're asking for they're not asking what is the cost per day they are wanting to know what are our savings per year. So our next step is to find the savings per day. So we know that if we use the 100 watt bulb, it costs us 14 cents per day approximately. And then we're gonna subtract from that the cost of the 10 watt bulb. And we can see that per day, we are saving approximately um, 12, almost 13 cents, so 0.1287 per day in savings. Okay, remember that we're not looking for the amount of savings per day, we are looking about the savings per year. So if we save 0.1287 per day, and we know that there are 365 days in a normal year, we can just take our savings per day, the 0.1287, and since we're doing math with it, it's best to use the exact answer rather than approximating and then calculating. You're always gonna get a more precise answer if you keep it as an exact value and then multiply at the end. So if you multiply at the end of the 367, you end up with $46.9755 0.9755 per year. So we can say that switching to the 10 watt LED bulb will save us approximately 46 dollars and 98 cents per year and i got the 98 cents because i rounded the nine seven i rounded that seven up since the number after it was a five so just make sure that usually when we're explaining it we put it in what makes sense so it makes sense to round it at the end as always thanks for watching if you have any questions please let me know if there are additional topics you would like me to cover please let me know that as well